Hello, ladies. My name is Angela. For those of you that may not know me, thank you so much for watching my videos. And if you are part of my YouTube channel, I really appreciate it. If you're watching me in Facebook, I also appreciate that too. My goal as a healthcare professional, as a female who has been working in the area of women's health for over 20 years, is to help women discover the root cause of their hormone imbalance symptoms so that you can really learn how to start to heal your body from the root cause, both now and for the long term. I myself suffered from hormone imbalance symptoms for many, many years, and I did discover that as my hormones started to shift and change on the way towards that transition into menopause, perimenopause, that things didn't get necessarily get any better from there until I did something about the root cause of the problem. So I do want to talk about that today because I know many women are suffering as they get into their 30s, early to mid 40s, and they're thinking that it's all related to their hormones and that's the primary concern that they need to deal with. I want to let you know that I understand hormones are shifting and changing a lot in this time period of life. There is no doubt. Your estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, all of them are declining and they're not just declining at an even rate. They're declining at an uneven rate and this can have a lot of different potential for symptoms coming up if the other systems the body that helps you keep those hormones as balanced as possible are not working properly. And nine times out of 10, that is the biggest problem. It's not actually just the hormones themselves and the fact that the levels are lowering. It's that the systems that help support the balance as best that they can in this tumultuous time of life with hormone shifts, they're not working properly either. So the primary areas are your guts and your liver. And if these areas of your body, you may or may not understand, but if they've been out of balance for many years, it's really going to all come to a head as you get closer to and transition to perimenopause. And then that transition eventually into menopause. So how do we know if our gut and liver are functioning properly or not? I'll give you a few clues. One of the first ones is your skin health. How healthy is your skin? Is it even? Is it a nice color? Is it dry? Is it got rashes, acne, flaking, either on the face, the scalps, other areas of the body? Do you ever break out in flies, rashes, etc.? This is a sign that you may not be balanced with your liver health is to look at your skin. Do you have bad body odor or bad breath at times? Do your bowels maybe not move properly? all the time? Could it be one extreme to the other from constipation to diarrhea? Could you not be going every day potentially? Do you ever get bloating after your meals? Do you ever feel heartburn at times? It may or may not seem like it's associated with meals. Any of these things sound familiar to you and you may have one or you may have all of these symptoms. Many women do have at least some of these symptoms coming up in this time of life if you feel like you're suffering from imbalanced hormones. And part of the reason is because again, those hormones, they cannot stay in balance if you don't have your gut and your liver functioning properly because they help with the process of bringing in those hormones, detoxifying them, shuttling them to where they need to get to. So hormones do need to get to our skin, they need to get to our brain, they need to get to our joints, they need to get to our heart and other organs. Estrogen aligns a lot of different areas of our body for a positive benefit if our body's able to shuttle and move these hormones properly. But as we shift toward the premenopause and menopause and the hormone levels are lowering, automatically some of our estrogen is not getting to these places in the same levels as it used to. So if we don't have a good shuttling system with our gut and our liver, then we're going to feel these symptoms all the more. I know many women suffer from a lot of these symptoms in combination and they're wondering what they can do. Many women try HRT, some find it effective, some don't. Some find it effective initially, but then eventually they feel like they have some side effects. And sometimes it's just not the end solution for many, many women, especially for the long term. And the reason for this is because whether you choose to use HRT or not, it's really important that you still understand how your gut and your liver are functioning functioning, either or, it doesn't matter. The liver still has to be able to filter the hormones, whether they're coming in from a non-natural source or your body's producing them. And then the gut has to be able to detoxify and eliminate what's no longer needed. So it's really important for you to work with a practitioner, someone like myself, a healthcare professional that's been working in the field of women's health for many, many years who understands this connection. I also understand it personally because I've suffered from hormone imbalance symptoms. And I know the only way I got my hormones back into balance when I tried all those other things, HRT, birth controls, different medications to help me with mood balance. I was feeling so out of balance with my moods in regards to different times in my cycle. None of that stuff worked for me. And in fact, a lot of it made me feel worse. I didn't get to the root of my problem until I started to learn what was happening in my liver and my gut. And once I did that through the proper functional labs, I was able to work with a functional practitioner to help me devise a plan both for now and for long-term success and balance with detoxification and shuttling and transferring of my hormones to where they need to get to. 
regardless of how much or how little estrogen and progesterone and testosterone I have in my body. I'm also in my mid 40s, so I know that my hormone levels are lowering, no doubt, but there is ways to keep the balance, relatively speaking, in this time of life. It doesn't have to be that you have symptoms every second day, every day. They're different all the time. You feel like you're, you know, some women tell me they just feel like they're crazy. They're all over the map. They just can't function, can't focus, can't get things done in life. They're having physical symptoms, mental symptoms, emotional symptoms, and it really doesn't have to be this way. So if you do want to learn more about how you could potentially balance your gut and your liver health, please feel free to reach out to me. It is one of the keys to connecting the balance in your hormones, especially in this time of life and that transition towards perimenopause, menopause, and beyond. I'd be happy to speak with you. You can go to my website, www.angelasimpsonfunctionalmedicine.ca, and there is a place there for you to book. It's called Book Now, and there's a clickable link for a complimentary consult. You can also, if you haven't already, check out my Facebook group, Functional Medicine for Hormone Imbalances. I have over 6,000 members of all some amazing ladies in that group where we share information weekly on how you can use some tips and strategies to start learning how to rebalance your hormones naturally. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to bringing you more and more videos in the future on hormonal health and balance for females as they get into the ages of 35 and beyond. Thanks and talk to you soon. Bye.